Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Reklowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at uh, two of the commodity currency pairs, the Aussie versus U.S. dollar and the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar from a technical perspective. Today's date is July 26, 2024. We're heading into the weekend, TGIF. Let's get started. Let's uh, start by taking a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar on the four-hour chart and trading this week. We went down, down, down goes Fraser, and the price uh, moved all the way uh, below the 61.8% retracement of the move up from the low that we saw in April to the high that price that we saw in the month of July that 61 came in at 0 0.65283 and as you can see the price fell below that level in trading yesterday but then re-established the support against the 61.8 percent right here before moving to the upside and we've uh, continued that to move to move higher in trading here today uh, but uh, above we are uh, have some uh, pretty key resistance up ahead uh, one, one level to look forward to, or look toward is a 50 percent retracement of this same move to the upside that level comes in at 0 0.65797 the other one is the 200 day moving average that comes in at 0 0.65 what is it eight seven or something around there it's hard to see maybe it's a little bit lower than that so uh, be aware of those levels as well that that um, uh, that should provide resistance on the top side uh, the level also corresponds with the number of different swing levels going back here 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 you get the idea there's a lot of different uh, swing levels here forming this floor especially before the move to the upside here we came down to that area in trading earlier this week before breaking to the downside here uh, so uh, for all those reasons look for sellers against that level let's take a look at the New Zealand versus US dollar and this currency pair has been uh, hit even harder even faster we uh, fell below the 100 day moving average last week and fell below these levels right through here including the 50 percent and trading this week we fell below 61.8 percent retracement and continued that run to the downside we got within a shouting distance of this low going back to the month of uh, well i guess that's may and then uh, this uh, low right here in the month of uh, april uh so you know close enough for a uh, government work uh, but the price uh, has uh, since rotated to the upside now compared to the aussie versus u.s dollar this little run to the upside is uh not very impressive uh, so the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar is being more pressured and also on the corrective move. It's not not exactly um, impressing to the upside. So uh, uh, we're going to need to get above the 59 level and stay above that level to increase the bullish bias uh, going forward. Absent that, uh, I'm going to move this uh, down to right around there. Uh, 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 if we get above that level, and then we look toward the 59.14 level, which happened to be this low right here, and also near this low right here before the market bounced and then rotated to the downside. So that's going to be a key level on the top side as well to get to and through if the buyers are to take control. Uh, if we move a lower, uh, getting below 158919 with more momentum, would likely increase the bearish bias as the buyers just give up in this currency pair. So the New Zealand versus US dollar is still pressured. The Aussie versus U.S. dollar showing some life, but running into resistance ahead on further momentum. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.